taken a couple of years off, but the Runaway Brides went nowhere, and as soon as we had a championship bout, they were in it. Skating tonight for the Runaway Brides, number double zero, Nova Kane. Number 11, Slaughter Melon. Number 101, Hurricane May. Number 151, Ash Smash'em. Number four, Cherry Kiss. Number 401, Autumnus Prime. Number 420, Astro Thought. Number six, Tornado Alley. Number 772, Al Annihilatia. Number 835, Skarin Yeager. Your co-captain of the Runaway Brides, number 100, Cryptic Kelly. And your captain of the Runaway Brides, number 95, Lightning the Queen. Your coaches tonight on the bench for the Runaway Brides are Troy McClure and Coach Baby. All right, Derby fans, taking the track now in blue. It's your schoolyard scrappers. Skating tonight for the schoolyard scrappers. OMG, you're killing me, Smalls. Number 300, that's Dolly Spartan. 34 is Pretty Hurt Machine. Oh, 440, Morning Madness. 487, Tequila. Number 600, Thigh Voltage. Number 616, it's your Antifa. Number 669, Nikki Badass. Number 68, Juicy Kill Tour. Number 90210, that's Beverly Kills. Your co-captain of the Scrappers tonight, that's 1212, Bonnie Banshee. And the captain of the Schoolyard Scrappers, 172, Pikachu. Helping the team out on their bench tonight, that's Bob Villain and Thrill Sergeant. All right, Derby fans, we are just two minutes away from the first whistle of this bout. As we've said, if you've been at a couple of bouts this season, you know it's our first season back, our first full season back. Last year we had mashup bouts that kind of get everybody back into the swing of things, and this year a full season. We saw a lot of things this year. Doomsday Valkyries made the playoffs this year, uh, won their first bouts this year, and uh, we saw the... Uh, Brutal Beauties qualify as the two seed for the playoffs, which was very high for them. So a lot of interesting shakeups this year, and yet here we are in the championship bout, and it's the Brides. So it feels like the more things <laughs> change, the more they stay the same. Right. And now we have the Schoolyard Scrappers as kind of the upstart team and really trying to, to get over that last, uh, get that last major hump and to win the title here. There's only one way to the championship, and that's through the old champion. That is correct, yeah. It's obviously the route to the trophy goes through the run runaway brides, and so defeating them is the goal <laughs> to, to right. win the title. There can be only one. We want to give a shout-out to everybody watching on Twitch right now. I know if you're cheering at home, we can't hear you, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. And uh, thank you so much for people watching on Twitch, not just here in Phoenix, but watching from other leagues around the country as well. We see you. Hello. Hi. Wonderful. Shout at us in the Twitch chat. We're busy announcing, so we can't check it, but, you know, we'll get the thought. But fantastic to see everybody and seeing other leagues getting started back up around the country, both flat track and bank track. You know, a lot of leagues kind of getting back into the swing of things and people starting to have fun again.
All right, we are ready to get underway. A cheer from the crowd as the first two jammers approach the line. Your first jammer for the Runaway Brides, Cherry Kiss. Hey, here comes Dolly Spartan for the Scrappers. After four years of waiting, here we go. Jam number one of a championship bout. Dolly Spartan tries the low, gets taken to the infield by Lightning the Queen. Jerry Kiss is hemmed in at the back. They're kind of a Cerberus of defenders at the back of the pack. The Scrapper's trying to keep her pinned in. Killing May Smalls, Bonnie Banshee, and Antifa holding Cherry. 30 seconds into the first jam, nobody out yet. Incredible defensive match so far. All you fans of defense, this is your bout. Now I have Pikachu sliding to the front and trying to spring Dolly loose, but so far no action. I think we've all decided that this jam is just going to expire on the clock. Yeah. Now Dolly Spartan breaks through, and though it is largely academic, we do have our first lead jam of the bout. And Dolly Spartan closing in. And Dolly out there going to stretch points. her legs. All right. I see Pretty Hurt Machine coming to the line for the schoolyard scrappers. Jammer for the Runaway Brides is Tornado Alley. Everybody check it in. Checking on penalties. Looks like the brides are sitting two blockers here. I see Ash smash them down there. Thin pack. Hurt tries the low. Tornado Alley tries the high. Pretty Hurt Machine gets been knocked off the track, gets back on behind Allen Isle, hate ya. Tornado Alley charging to the front of the pack. Tornado Alley gets by Nikki Badass as your lead jammer. Pretty Hurt Machine gets out of the pack, though. Scrappers now trying to get up the speed. Allen Isle H is going to force Beverly Kills off the track at the back of the pack. And Tornado Alley gets into the pack and calls it off. Let's check on the score there. All right, we've got our first point. Our first point, point of the bout. It A is, point. It is one nothing. It is no longer tied. A veritable point. Here comes Bonnie Banshee to the jammer line for the Scrappers. Jammer for the Runaway Brides, Hurricane May. I see the Brides sitting one blocker and the Scrappers sitting two. It's a thin pack for the Scrappers out there. And May takes advantage of that, gets right out. Bonnie Banshee gets forced off onto the inside, out of bounds along the turn. Here comes Hurricane May now, catching up to the pack for the first scoring pass, gets blocked up into the rail. May now along the inside, shakes free and finishes off the scoring pass. May takes a little bit of a whip off of the jersey of Cryptic Cali. Bonnie Banshee had hung back in the pack trying to play some jammer defense and is going to do the same here, it would appear, trying to assist those two blockers for the scrappers. Here comes Hurricane May on a third scoring pass. Scrappers now trying to affect a wall there at the back of the pack. Now Hurricane May to the front of the pack, trying to get around that last blocker, ducks to the inside and gets blocked off. More blocking as well, and that'll do it for the jam clock. Bonnie Banshee had gotten out of the back of the pack as well. Jamming for the first time tonight for the schoolyard scrappers. That's Nikki Badass. Your jammer for the runaway brides is Scarin Yeager. And the runaway brides just put 15 big points up on the board. Very successful jam here in the early going for the runaway brides, and they've sprung out to an early lead. And the scrapper is going to be sitting one blocker on this penalty jam. Scarin Yeager tries the high side there, but gets shut down behind Pretty Hurt Machine and Beverly Kills. Nikki Badass pushing the front of that pack out of the way, trying to make some room. Nikki Badass sees some daylight just as Scarin Yeager gets out as well. You got a jammer race. Yeager coming down the front back. Back straight away, Beverly Kills got knocked off to the infield. Jaeger gets by, gets that one point plus a ghost point at the back and calls it off. Two more points for the runaway brides. 
An exciting action there as they both tried to catch up to the pack. Right. Cherry Kiss one more time now for the Runaway Brides. Dolly Spartan coming to the jammer line for the Scrappers. Scrappers still at zero, 18 to zero right now. Scrappers looking to put some points on the board. I see both jammers kind of bounced up to the same point on the track and now Cherry Kiss around the outside. Cherry Kiss is your lead jammer for the Brides. Now Dolly Spartan springs out of the pack as well. We'll try to keep this to one scoring pass for Cherry Kiss. Cherry down along the inside, gets her points and calls it off. And then before we get to the next jam, we're gonna have a team timeout. Schoolyard Scrappers are gonna call a stop to the play here with 9.22 to go in the first quarter and talk this one over. Runaway Brides out to the early lead here, 22 nothing so far. Hey Derby fans, be sure to visit the Arizona Derby Dame Snack Bar. Grab yourself a cold beverage or a snack. All proceeds go back to the league and your support is greatly appreciated. Derby fans, Tucci's Touch Massage is here this evening. Well, I mean Tucci is. Tucci's Touch is the name of Tucci's business. At any rate, Tucci's Touch Massage specializes in deep tissue, trigger point therapy, and much more. Come visit their booth and get a free 10-minute chair massage tonight right next to the merchandise booth. And don't forget to enter the raffle to win a 30-minute in-home massage. All right, back to the action we go. Runaway Brides are gonna send Tornado Alley to the jammer line. That's Juicy Kill Tour out there on the jammer line for the Scrappers. Dun, dun, dun. Tightly bunched pack heading down into the corner. Tornado Alley spun off to the infield. Pretty hurt machine waiting for an opportunity at the back of the pack. And now off the front of the pack, there goes Juicy Kill Tour. Juicy is out for the Scrappers and coming around. Tornado Alley gets the wave on. And now here comes Juicy Kill Tour. Gonna put the Scrappers on the board, get up to the front of the pack and see what she can do. Gets through to finish the scoring pass. Able to find a breach in the wall there and blow on through. And we will check out the official score from the infield. It is indeed four points. So the schoolyard scrappers have lit up the scoreboard here. Scrappers making something happen there. Here comes Dolly Spartan out here to the jammer line for the scrappers. And it'll once again be Hurricane May for the runaway brides. One of the... Dolly Spartan now quickly to the outside, trying to get past Cryptic Cali. Gets an assist from Bonnie Banshee wearing the pivot stripe. And Dolly Spartan is out. Two straight lead jams for the schoolyard scrappers coming out of the team timeout. It's exactly what you like to see when your team's coming out of the timeout is to kind of get their brain recentered. Dolly Spartan up to the outside, sprung again by Bonnie Banshee. Great work with the pivot stripe. Hurricane May now shakes loose to the pack for the Runaway Brides. Is gonna try to keep this to a second scoring attempt for Dolly Spartan, but she's gotta catch up to the pack first. Couple of blockers out to the infield, and Dolly Spartan calls it off coming off the track. We're gonna have an, a, a timeout of some fashion. Let's check from Freya Hugs will let us know here in a moment. That one's going to be an official timeout, so must be some penalty or scoring discussion to happen here, so the regulators are going to get together and talk this one over. We will check on the score here momentarily. Hey, Derby fans, are you interested in being a part of the roller derby community but hitting people isn't your thing? 
Well, our regulators are always looking for dedicated and eager minds to learn our rule set and help keep our skaters on the track safe. Our regulator team is an open gender team, and there are various levels of officiating that go on during a roller derby bout. Come be a part of the action, help our league grow. Ask any skater or ref how to be involved. That score was reported in. That was nine big points there for the schoolyard scrappers. So right now the score, 22-13, runaway brides in front, but they have cut that lead to single digits, have the schoolyard scrappers. Scrap the scrappers are on a 13-0 run right also now. Also correct. As we'd mentioned, two very solid jams coming out of that team timeout. Looks like we're just about to get back to the action here. Regulators have sufficiently discussed what needed to be discussed. All right, here we go, 7.15 to go here in the first quarter. Coming out to jam for the Runaway Brides is going to be Scarin Yeager. <laughs> and that's Nikki Badass back on the line for the Scrappers. Nikki takes the high side, gets by Allen Isle. Hey, Chad, gets by Lightning the Queen, is out your lead jammer, Nikki Badass. Scarin Yeager, though, breaks through the pack. Scaring Jaeger about a third of the track behind Nikki Badass. Nikki now catching up quick up to the front wall of Schoolyard Scrappers blockers. Nikki takes a tumble and calls it off. Nikki Badass able to pick up. Nikki Badass able to pick up four points and call off that jam. Jamming for the Runaway Brides now will be Cherry Kiss. Dolly Spartan come to the jammer line for the Scrappers. The scrappers are down one blocker right now. Brides are back to full strength. Cherry Kiss got bounced up hard into the rail, now trying to find, has to wait for the whole pack to go by. Dolly Spartan trying to push the way to the front of the pack behind Cryptic Cali, Lightning the Queen. Ash smash them. Dolly trying to get by Lightning, taken up to the rail by Lightning. The rest of the pack catches up. Now navigating to the front, here goes Dolly again, bumped up to the rail by Lightning. Defense is stalwart out there wearing the pivot stripe for the bride as she, brides as she often does. And there it goes out the front of the pack. There goes the jammer for the brides, Cherry Kiss, your lead jammer with 15 seconds left on the jam clock. While Lightning is holding the Scrapper's jammer, her sister is able to get out and try to score some points now. Dolly Scrap Spartan walled up now, Bonnie Banshee. Scrapper's trying to hold the line there, and eventually the brides were able to create a little turbulence and move things along. Sometimes you run out of gas. Brides picking up five points there on the jam. And the brides are going to send Tornado Alley to the jammer line. Thigh voltage coming to the jammer line for the scrappers. Both teams are skating down one blocker. So a slightly smaller pack. All right, looks like we're ready to go on the jam. Here goes Tornado Alley around the outside, and Tornado Alley is your lead jammer for the Runaway Brides. Thigh Voltage was trying to cling to the inside of the track, but gets bumped off. Thigh Voltage had some daylight there, but just didn't make it by Novocaine. And Volti gets taken into the rail by Allen Isle H at the end of the play there. Brides put four up on the board, and the runaway brides are again going to send Hurricane May to the jammer line. Scrappers are sending Dolly Spartan back out there to the jammer line. Still four minutes left in this first quarter action. Full pack, nobody in the penalty box at this point. Hurricane May having some trouble getting by Bonnie Banshee and killing May Smalls. Dolly Spartan now was let through that scrapper's line trying to get up to the front of the pack and find her, trying to get that front line pushed out of the way is what's happening now. 
As at the back, the Scrappers are trying to hold the line in, but the pack comes back together. Now they're gonna try to spring Dolly Spartan with some help. And now Dolly to the outside and Dolly gets clear. 21 seconds left on the jam clock. That's enough time for at least one pass. Dolly Spartan coming up on the back of the pack now. Taken to the infield by Cryptic Cali. Dolly gets back on the track and ends up calling off that jam. Lightning the Queen was coming fast into the pack. Yeah, we had a star pass there for a star pass to the bout. Hurricane May handing it off to the pivot, Lightning the Queen. Schoolyard Scrappers pick up two points on the play. Brides are gonna send Scary Niagara to the jammer line. I see Nikki Badass back out there for the Scrappers. And now Scary Niega gets out first and calls it off because Nikki Badass was out right behind and had the pursuit on, so no points for either side. We've got Cherry Kiss once again for the Runaway Brides. Hey, coming to the jammer line for the Scrappers for the first time tonight, that's Antifa. Both teams at full strength. Cherry Kiss trying the high side. Antifa trying to follow out. Cherry Kiss gets out though as your lead jammer, but hot on her tail, that's Antifa. Two of the fastest skaters in the league. Pack stalled out in turn two. Cherry Kiss weaving her way through, but Antifa trying to pick up a couple points at the back of the pack. Antifa picks up two points for the Scrappers on the back end of that. Runaway Brides with the four points on the jam, so points for both sides. Up to the jammer line for the Runaway Brides is Tornado Alley. And Pretty Hurt Machine coming to the jammer line for the Scrappers. Hurt trying the high side, gets to the front of the pack really fast. Knocked to the infield by Alan Eilhacha. Gets back out on the track. Alan Nova trying to hold Hurt. Pretty Hurt Mission able to get out of the pack. Tornado Alley now is your lead jammer coming around. Couple of scrappers taking a tumble at the back of the pack. Pretty Hurt Machine closing in now and trying to put the pressure on as Tornado Alley drifts by onto the infield. Lots of penalties going up on the board right now. It's gonna take us a minute to sort this out. And look at that. All right, schoolyard scrappers are gonna be challenging an item from the last jam. We will check that out momentarily. <coughs> I think I saw a star next to a penalty on that board. I now believe I still do. I do see that. So we'll check out the challenge, the nature thereof, and the success thereof momentarily from the regulators on the infield. Hey, Take it. Oh. Just going to give a game reset. Ten seconds to go, so one more jam in the first quarter, 38-21 at the moment. Hey, folks, if you see people walking around trying to sell you some raffle tickets, why don't you jump in? There's so many awesome raffle prizes tonight at the raffle table. If you haven't visited the raffle table, come on over. It's in turn two. You'll see league members coming around with raffle tickets for you to purchase. We have two raffles every night. We have an item raffle prize, and those raffle tickets are $1 per ticket or six tickets for five bucks. And then we also have a 50-50 cash raffle. Those are $5 a tickets or three tickets for $10. The tickets are two different colors, but you can get that 50-50 raffle or you can get some of the wonderful prizes donated by all of our teams. And Derby fans, one more time, wanted to remind you this evening's food truck option outside is Tempura Takeover. Sophisticated street eatery serving up some of the best tempura dishes you'll ever taste. 
Their presentation is eye-catching, the flavors are irresistible, and their service is impeccable. They have, I saw a sandwich board that had uh, four different items on it. They had bulgogi tacos, which sounds wonderful. Uh, bulgo nothing wrong with bulgogi. And they had an option of fries. They have a lobster roll that has some delicious looking sauce on it. I, I wandered over there without my glasses and I just looked at pictures. Uh, the food looked good. That's all I can say. Uh, so tempura takeover outside, a fantastic option to enjoy during our 20 minute halftime uh, non-extravagant. I mean, there'll be a merch toss, but you know, we don't have the lady that rides the really tall unicycle and throws bowls on her head. So not much of an extravaganza. Do we have people in costumes doing races? <laughs> like hot dog race? Yeah, exactly. It's just we have different skate brands. They're right. just like, oh, right. look at that. Interesting. The custom plate's going to win tonight. All right, it looks like the challenge has wrapped up. We will get an update on the challenge here momentarily. See if we can get Hoover Slam to give us an update. Hoover, Hoover Slam. Hoover, Hoover Slam. Or not. Apparently, we can't get Hoover's attention. You know what? It's They actually say they can't hear us in the infield, so I'm free to say whatever I want about Freya Hugs. I say things about Freya the whole bout. She has no idea. She gets in the car after the bout, and I'm like, I didn't say any of those things. They misheard me. All right, so I see the totem symbol, which I believe. Yeah, we were just curious about the challenge. Thank you very much for that Ed Hockley worthy explanation from Hoover Slam. So the challenge was by the Scrappers challenging the penalty on their jammer because we actually had double jammer penalties and it was going to be a double jammer down situation, <coughs> which is as it is now, the schoolyard Scrappers were trying to gain the power jam. So it's an extremely small pack. The, uh, let's see here, the Runaway Brides only have Three blockers, the scrappers have two. Your jammer for the brides is Hurricane May. And Nikki Badass coming back to the line for the scrappers. So here we go. Eight seconds left in the quarter. Oh. Nikki Badass up to the outside, takes a running start, slams into the pivot for the brides. So far, they're keeping Hurricane May at the back. Nikki Badass saw some daylight, but then ran into Lightning and Cherry, the dynamic duo of sisters. Pivot, that's Pikachu coming up for Nikki, trying to spring Nikki loose, and so far that defense. Lightning the Queen and Cherry Kiss out there on the front end. 25 seconds left on the clock, and so far no jammers out. Now, there we go, taking over as jammer for the Runaway Brides is Cherry Kiss. Cherry Kiss now the jammer of record for the Brides, and the Scrappers are going to settle in and try to form an impenetrable four wall at the back of the pack. Cherry, Cherry Kiss is absorbed and spit out like a foreign body amongst a bunch of paramecium. Cherry, Cherry Kiss trying to get her hips past some of the other skaters. I All right, see. that does take us up to the quarter break. Go ahead, Bill. Oh, I saw a jammer penalty on that board so it looks like we're going to start off the second quarter with the power jam it definitely as it stands right now so we're into the quarter break score right now 41 21 runaway brides have jumped out in front after a strong first quarter but as we said schoolyard scrappers had the power jam when we get back
action, and we're gonna do it with the first power jam of the bout. And it's the schoolyard scrappers and Dolly Spartan. Scrappers have three blockers. Runaway brides are also sitting a blocker in addition to their jammer. That would be the two penalties assessed to the two jammers. Dolly's trying to get those front blockers pushed out of play and is able to do so. Dolly Spartan's clear with 46 seconds left to go in the power jam. Lightning McQueen is goaded at the back and was trying to blast through the wall. Here comes Dolly on her first scoring pass. Lightning able to affect some defense at the back of the pack behind that wall of scrappers blockers. Now the brides are able to get, get together at the front of the pack. Pack comes together now and here come the scrappers blockers trying to spring Dolly Spartan loose to complete the scoring pass. Dolly fighting up to the high side is in behind Al. There goes a big tumble with Lightning going down and Dolly gets Al pushed out of play and finishes the scoring pass. Limited to one scoring pass. So five points for the Scrappers there. Scrappers trying to cut into the lead. So five hard fought points, but a good defense is standing from the runaway brides on the power jam. Hurricane May now will jam for the brides. Here comes Bonnie Banshee for the Scrappers. Both teams are gonna sit one blocker on this jam. Both teams picking up a penalty out there. Both jammers knocked to the infield for a brief moment. Bonnie Banshee out to the front of the pack trying to push them out of play. And they gotta let her go. Bonnie Banshee's out. Bonnie Banshee's your lead jammer. Antifa trying to hold Hurricane May right there. Getting some help from killing May Smalls. Front blockers were able to stay in play there for the Scrappers. Hurricane May still not out and Bonnie Banshee finishes off a scoring pass for the Scrappers. Hurricane May trying to get by Pikachu and killing May Smalls at the back of the pack. Bonnie Banshee set up another scoring pass. Hurricane May trying to play some jammer defense and gets the worst of that collision. Tries to sneak by at the front, but bumped off to the infield. Bonnie Banshee on the infield as well. Now has to wait patiently to reestablish. And that'll do it as the clock expires on that jam. It's a 10 point jam for the Schoolyard Scrappers. And just like that, Schoolyard Scrappers have started off this quarter on a 15 point unanswered burst. Coming to the jammer line for the Runaway Brides has been the highly successful Skarin Yeager. Scrapper sending Pretty Hurt Machine out there to the jammer line. Hurt trying the high side, gets by Beverly Kills, gets out on the lows, your lead jammer. That was pretty quick out there. Skarin Yeager trying to catch up. Skarin Yeager now fighting through a block, just dispensed with the schoolyard scrappers blocker. I didn't catch who that was, but Yeager out as well to try to keep this to one scoring pass. Pretty Hurt Machine way up to the outside, zigzags around a couple of blockers and finishes off the scoring pass for the schoolyard scrappers. Hurt picking up four points and gonna call off that jam. I see Dolly Spartan taking that jammer line for your scrappers. Jamming for the runaway brides, Hurricane May. Nobody in the penalty box, both teams at full strength. Scrappers looking to extend this scoring run. Tightly bunch pack. Now Hurricane May kind of pinballing around the back. They're trying to find an opening, whereas Dolly Spartan just, look at that, Dolly Spartan. Oh, Dolly Spartan oh. blocked was almost clear, and oh, that was Automus Prime that dropped down and put a stop to that. Dolly saw some daylight. And now Hurricane May down to the inside again and runs out of real estate, now has to patiently wait for the pack to catch up one more time. Dolly has gotten to the front of the pack. There's still 25 seconds left on the jam clock if either jammer can get free. Hurricane May zigzagging around. 
leaps over an outstretched skate and gets clear for the Runaway Brides. Dolly Spartan dumped to the infield by Lightning the Queen. Dolly now is gonna try to link up and they're gonna try to form a wall at the back of the pack, a five wall for the Scrappers now, trying to keep Hurricane May from getting past anybody. And we'll have to check the score from the infield. Dolly Spartan again took another hard shot there. That's the second one in that jam. Brides pick up two points. So Hurricane May able to nudge in front of a couple of skaters. Now jamming for the runaway Brides for the first time in the bout, that's Slaughtermelon. Brides pick up two points and Scrappers pick up a bunch of penalties going into this jam. Gonna be skating down two blockers, but I see uh, Nikki Badass out there on this jammer line. Slaughtermelon quickly up to the pack and then Slaughtermelon met with, I believe that was Pretty Hurt Machine. Down along the inside, Nikki Badass to the front of the pack. Slaughtermelon tries to get clear along the inside and we've got both jammers out. They pour down the front straightaway like a bunch of horses in the Kentucky Derby. And now Nikki Badass trying to catch up to the pack. Nikki calls it off. Looking ahead and saw that there was runaway brides had gotten in front of the scrappers. So a whole lot of action, but no points for either side, and we reconvene. It's gonna be Ash Smashem for the Runaway Brides, another first time jammer for the Brides. And Ash Smashem going up against Bonnie Banshee for the Scrappers. Brides are sitting one blocker. Scrappers are fully staffed. 43-40 with about eight and a half, 8.49 left in this second quarter. Bonnie Banshee dives low, gets knocked to the infield by Lightning the Queen. Ash Masham tied up at the back of the pack by Pikachu and Killin' May Smalls. Bonnie Banshee tries the high side by the rail, trying to get by Lightning the Queen. Ash Smasham now is up towards the front, but still dealing with a squadron of blockers for the schoolyard scrappers. And now Ash gets waved on by Ash Smasham is the lead jammer for the Runaway Brides. Now Bonnie Banshee is out to put the pursuit on. Schoolyard Scrappers now are gonna try to get in front and Ash Smasham calls it off. Bonnie Banshee barreling in from behind, forces that call off rather quickly. That's why it's important to stay on the pursuit, kids. So no points for either side again. Suddenly we've gone into a complete drought of scoring. Tornado Alley up to the jammer line, sort of, for the Runaway Brides. A juicy Kill Tour out there on the jammer line for the Scrappers. Scrappers sitting, Killing May Smalls sitting one blocker down for a penalty. Juicy Kill Tour right up Main Street, gets right through the middle with some help from her friends. Juicy Kill Tour is your lead jammer for the Schoolyard Scrappers. Tornado Alley takes a knee in the middle of the pack there. Knocked down by Nikki Badass. Alley now is going to wall up and try to play jammer defense and then tries to spring forward and just look at that like a semi-permeable membrane letting through certain liquids and keeping others out. There goes Juicy Kill Tour zipping right through that line while Tornado Alley was held back. And as long as it took me to explain that metaphor, Juicy Kill Tour is caught up to the pack once more and is trying to effort another scoring pass. Tornado Alley gets around on defense and Juicy calls it off. I see Dolly Spartan coming to the line for the Scrappers. Schoolyard Scrappers are gonna hang eight points on the board and the Scrappers have taken the lead for the first time in the bout. 48-43, Scrappers, Scrappers in front. Hurricane made to the jammer line for the Runaway Brides. Dolly Spartan out there looking to extend this five point lead. Still six minutes and 20 seconds left in this half. Both as often as the tentative at the back of the pack. I was gonna say as often as the case with the Dolly Spartan jam, there's a lot of patience. A lot of patience and a lot of looking for an opening and there, zipping around the outside. There goes Hurricane May. Dolly Spartan is gonna put the pursuit on. May so far is up to the race, is trying to stay in front. Dolly hanging low around the corners and Dolly forces the call off. When Hurricane May got out, Dolly Spartan was high on the track and just used gravity to accelerate down the track and shot forward. Never give up. All right, so we have a timeout here. Let's see what flavor it is. 
Team timeout. Runaway Brides are going to call a halt to things momentarily. So no points for either side in that last jam. As of the moment, Schoolyard Scrappers have jumped in front, as I said, for the first time of the bout. Scrappers in front, 48-43. Hey, does Roller Derby pump you up? Do you want the night not to end? After tonight's championship bout, join us at Stacy's on the corner of Turney and 7th Ave for the after party. Stacy's in the Melrose District. There's drinks, food, fun, so make sure you stop by the after party at Stacy's on Melrose. Derby fans, about five and a half minutes left in this half. 43 to 48, the Scrappers have come back and taken the lead. Runaway Brides took this time out, obviously, to discuss what's going on and to try to find a solution to this Schoolyard Scrappers run. They're going to send Scarin Jaeger to the jammer line, are the Runaway Brides. I see Pretty Hurt Machine out there in blue for the Scrappers. Hurt trying the high side, picking the way through the top of the line. Jams to the front. Same with Skarenjaeger. Skarenjaeger trying to get by thigh voltage and gets out as your lead jammer. Now trying to weave by on the outside. Pretty Hurt Machine gets an assist, gets knocked down, and Lightning the Queen's going to spin in front now. Lightning is not out of play and is trying to keep Pretty Hurt Machine held in. Now Jaeger bounces to the outside, and Jaeger gets on by to finish the scoring pass. Skarenjaeger making some things happen out there. Still 22 seconds to go here in the jam. Pretty Hurt Machine now playing jammer defense there at the back of the pack, and they're going to just try to prevent Jaeger from getting any more points. Jaeger gets some help from the team. Bursts through for a moment and then calls it off. Nine-point jam for the Brides, and the Brides leapfrog back in front, 52-48. Take a sip of your beverage of choice. I'll have a nice big swig of Diet Mountain Dew at the next break for that lead change. They're going to send Slaughtermelon to the jammer line. Bonnie Banshee back out there for the Scrappers. Both teams are sitting one blocker on this jam. Ash now, Masham tries hard to hit the high side. Gets tied up behind Antifa. Antifa really working hard to keep Ash Smasham back behind. So Bonnie Banshee is out, lead jammer for the Scrappers. And Slaughtermelon gets bumped off again. Antifa able to dislodge from the block there. And at the back of the pack, it's Antifa and... Come on, who's that wearing the pivot stripe? That's Pikachu playing that defense back there. Bonnie Banshee now catching up again. Slaughtermelon tries to run up in the way and is just a step late. Bonnie, Banish Bonnie Banshee finishing off another scoring pass, and Slaughter Mella now out. Try to keep this to one more scoring pass for Bonnie Banshee. <clears throat> Catches up, gets past a couple of skaters, and calls it off. A cheer goes up from the schoolyard scrapper contingent in the crowd. All right, scrapper fans, hold yourself. 13 points on that jam for the Scrappers. Scrappers go back into the lead, 61 to 52. Here comes Nikki Badass to the line. Runaway Brides are gonna send Cherry Kiss to the jammer line. Seems Scrappers are sitting two blockers though. Cherry trying to take advantage of it, gets right out. Nikki Badass though isn't gonna let this be a lonely one. Nikki gaining on Cherry, trying to make this short. Cherry's going to put it in drive here, coming through the corner, catching up, trying to get a point eked out, and calls it off with Nikki barreling in from behind. I feel like we've settled into kind of a comfortable rotation of four to five jammers for each side. Right. I believe that we know who's going to be doing most of the jamming. Uh, no points for either side there once again, and Tornado Alley to the jammer line for the Runaway Brides. Dolly Spartan coming back to the line for the Scrappers, still 61-52. to 52. Just two minutes to go until halftime. The penalty box looks clear to me. Oh, slow wall, slow jammer. It's 
Sometimes you just like to listen to the music. Yeah. Cool jams. Clifton, you do anything last night? <laughs> um, I had food. Oh, food. Yeah, food yeah. Was good. Food's good. Now we, there we go. Yeah. Now everybody kind of breaks free. Nobody ever wants to make the first move in a Dolly Spartan jam. That now nobody has. That's a solid wall. Dolly doesn't even know how to get through. Yeah. I like, I like, four yeah. Four seconds left. I do like how this jam just turned into a, 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 a schoolyard scrappers five wall They're keeping right. Allie at the back of the pack. Now everybody's going to try to spring loose. Big collision. Couple skaters down. Allie's trying to sneak by on the inside. And with nine seconds left in the jam, Tornado Alley is your lead jammer. Allie gets out. There's still time left. And not there isn't. All right. So we once again have no points for either side. It's interesting. We seem to have these scoring bursts, and then it just goes, yeah. It goes I, dry for a minute. I see Juicy Kill 2 out there for the Scrappers. Juicy very successful last time out for the Scrappers. For the Runaway Bride, speaking of a successful jammer, here comes Hurricane May. Oh, it looks like Pikachu or picked up a penalty on that last jam. The Scrappers are going to be... Down a blocker. And there's Coach Baby up there pulling down one blocker for the Runaway Brides. And there we go. Juicy tries to get up and kind of run Hurricane May off the track. Nikki Badass finishes the block. Juicy now just tries to brute strength through the Runaway Brides wall. Has to get up and reestablish. There's like four skaters on the ground right now. See, make sure everybody gets up all right. Including both jammers. Yes. <laughs> There's several skaters down in the hardest part of the track to see them from here. Right. Hurricane May is trying to get that blocker wall pushed out of play, but the wall closes in from behind, and they are not out of play. So now we've got Cryptic Cali, Juicy Kill Tour routed off to the inside. This is going to take us to the end of the second quarter, so get ready to get Bulgogi Tacos. Hurricane May now is at the back of the pack, and now the brides are going to wall up and play three wall with a jammer at the back of the pack. There's nine seconds left. I'm already seeing the penalties stack up on the whiteboard. I think that's the end of this jam. We're just going to burn this off. There we go. All right. And that's how we go into the halftime. We Clifton. go into half, halftime with uh, four straight scoreless jams. And we go into halftime just like we ended the five-minute mark of the second quarter with the score 61-52. The last scoring was Juicy Kill Tour's huge 13-point jam right. for the Scrappers. So yeah. teams are going to change benches. It is halftime. Go out, stretch your legs, fill your souvenir cup. Have a lobster roll. 20-minute halftime. 20-minute halftime. So be ready to go in here in about 20 minutes.
All right, Derby fans, just about a minute to go until the resumption of action. I wanted to read off those two red raffle ticket winners that we had during halftime. We read off just after the Hoover and Tran retirement ceremony. Those two winning tickets are 591224 and 591-224. All right, there's a mere matter of seconds left. Freya Hugs Game Executioner is preparing to let everybody know that the half is ready to start. All right, Derby fans, let me ask you one thing. Who is ready for 30 more minutes of roller derby action? Let's hear it. Let's get ready for the second half of the championship bout. It's been long enough. We've waited long enough for a championship. Let's do this thing. 61-52, the schoolyard scrappers in front at the moment. That is real close. If you're at your first roller derby bout or watching the first one on Twitch, that's Scarin Jaeger for the uh, Runaway Brides. Bonnie Banshee wearing the star for the Schoolyard Scrappers, and Bon Bon gets out. Bon Bon's your lead jammer, although Scarin Jaeger gets out of the pack about 30 feet behind. And Bonnie Banshee's going to call it off with Scarin Jaeger on the pursuit. You know, in our first full season back, Bill, there's been lots of new skaters, and I just I wanted to shout out Scarin Jaeger, not just because the crowd likes to cheer whenever you say Woo! that, but uh, Jaeger's been one of our more, more successful rookie skaters this year, I believe, amongst a lot of rookies that kind of got hung up. So the pandemic. Yeah, very yeah, great to see that development over the year. Hurricane May for the brides now. Pretty hurt machine out there jamming for the scrappers. Hurt working the way through the middle of the pack. Hurts. Hurricane May tries to down, tries the bottom of the track and gets out. And May's gonna call it off again. So that's six straight jams and counting with no score. These jammers are looking ahead and they're trying to see what, how much track do I have in front of me yeah. and how close is the other person and am I gonna score? If this keeps up, it's gonna be like a yellow flag finish in IndyCar. Right? <laughs> so Tornado Alley is on the jammer line for the brides now. That's Dolly Spartan out there for the scrappers. Alley, Alley. quickly kind of gets through a gap in the pack, but gets to the front and gets run up there by the uh, scrappers defender. That's Morning Madness on the defense out front. And it's Antifa out there also holding Tornado Alley back. And where Dolly Spartan able to outrun those last two blockers to the point. Al Annihilate you out there trying one last gasp to hold Dolly Spartan back, and it doesn't work. Dolly coming around the high side, diving down, following Tornado Alley right now. Yeah, Alley kind of waited for an opening and got out, made sure to keep that to one scoring pass for Dolly Spartan. So four points for the Scrappers and my little tongue-in-cheek joking point out at the run of scoreless jams is over. We have offense. The Schoolyard Scrappers put four points on the board. Oh, but look out. Look out twice. I see a jammer penalty on yeah, the Scrappers. Yeah, I was going to say, however, Coach Bob has waved the blue challenge flag. Freya Hugs makes it official. Schoolyard Scrappers are going to challenge the penalty on their jammer. We'll, we'll see. We have had one unsuccessful challenge thus far, and we will see what the results are of this challenge. If not, we'll have a power jam for the brides. We will be back to you momentarily with that. Now, we wanted to say on the Twitch channel, oh, goodness, it is so great to have Twitch viewers. 
Uh, you give us an audience, and we love it. We wanted a shout out in the Twitch chat. We're saying hi to Custard Villain, and we're saying hi to Lil Vandal, Lil V, Lil V Dole. Uh, and Custard Villain, which is a wonderful... I said Custard Villain because Custard Filling is also a fantastic derby name. Just that would be a good derby name. Custard Filling. Right. Where's the cream filling? Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching on Twitch. We wanted to shout out the two of you specifically. That was relayed to us by people who were able to watch the Twitch chat during the game. We're busy. We, you know, if only we had time to Twitch chat. But if no, I had we, more screens. Right. Barely have time to get over the sponsors. Speaking of which, we wanted to let you know here at the Hall of Dames... We haven't had a lot of time to talk about our sponsors this evening, but we wanted to let you know one of our shout-outs is Brutal Salsa. In our vendor village, you can go get some delicious locally made salsa made by the Brutal Beauties. It's over here by the merchandise booth. Our AV wizard, CJ, picked some up, and he said the medium is pretty darn toasty. Ooh. So it sounds wonderful. I believe uh, Gypsy Danger is uh, personing the table down there at the moment. So, yeah, definitely... If you want to pick up some fresh, which, I'll, oh, my gosh, you know what I mean? Fresh salsa is just, yeah. So absolutely stop by there and pick up some brutal salsa. You know, Derby fans, if you're between the ages of 10 and 17 and you love to skate, our minor assaults are always looking for new skaters to join their team. Our coaches not only teach technique and knowledge of the sport, but they also help build leadership, teamwork, and problem-solving skills that will help out in life situations far beyond roller derby. Minor skating skills, but a dedication to learn and a positive mental attitude is all that we require. Come see what the fun is all about. Ask any Derby Dame how to get involved. Okay, we are back to game action. The challenge was unsuccessful, so the schoolyard scrappers have used their second half challenge early in the third quarter. So we are going to have a power jam for the Runaway Brides, and we'll get all hype up for that here in a second once everybody gets back to the action. Critical moment for a power jam, though. Brides are looking for some points. It has been a little while since any points have come up on the board. So the Runaway Brides have their first power jam of the second half. Brides are also going out there with a full complement of blockers, and it's Cherry Kiss. Scrap is trying to get their three blockers lined up as Cherry Kiss approaches the pack, gets by... Lightning the Queen knocks over Nikki Badass as Cherry Kiss gets out of the pack. Pack stalls out on the back straightaway. Cherry looks to try to figure out a scoring path. Cherry comes in with the full head of steam and knocked one blocker out of the way. That was Pretty Hurt Machine who gets right back up and gets into the blocking again. Cherry off to the infield. Now a blocker takes a tumble. I saw skates up in the air there for a second. It was a juicy kill tour going completely tea kettle style. Cherry Kiss finishing the scoring pass for the Brides, but the Scrappers defense eats a lot of time off the clock. There's 16 seconds left on the jam clock. Scrappers again able to get Cherry Kiss buried up into the rail, trying to hold her back and try to burn a little more time off the clock, and they're going to succeed. Cherry Kiss knew she'd gotten past all five of the skaters. Check on that from the infield and double check that she had gotten past. There it is, 10 points. I was going to say, I'm not supposed to say she knew she had this many points until the re the regulators say it. Until they say it so. Is not, I have bad eyesight. I should not be calling out points. So 10 big points for the runaway brides on the power jam. That's going to close that lead up to three points for the schoolyard scrappers with 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. Up to the jammer line for the runaway brides is Ash Smasham. Bonnie Banshee outside the jammer line for the schoolyard scrappers. Challenging Hurricane May on the low side and gets out as your lead jammer. Bonnie Banshee is off to the races while Ash Smasham tries to work their way through the back of the pack. Gets out at the front, about a half a track behind. Bon Bon has plenty of time for a scoring pass here. Checking on the score here. Before this next jam starts, I just want to say again, I want to get a cheer up, not for necessarily the current rookies, but let's hear about our freshman class. There's Ash Smashing, who just joined the Brides this year, jamming in the championship bout. Let's get a hand for our, not just our rookies, but our first year skaters as well. Four serious. There have been some serious contributors that just joined teams this season. Anyhow, in the meantime, the Runaway Brides are going to call timeout. 
Right now at 67-62, Schoolyard Scrappers in front with 10.07 to go in the third quarter. Derby fans, if you want to skate on the Bank Derby track, if you want to skate on this track right here and learn more about Bank Track Roller Derby, well, now's your chance. Our Brutal Beauties are putting together a fundraiser. Join us on Saturday, May 13th for Beauty School. Beauty School Bank Track Roller Derby Workshop presented by the Arizona Derby Dames and the Brutal, Brutal Beauties. Details at the front desk if you want to try to skate this track. Put on a clinic, see what you can do. Team timeout just about to come to a close. We'll get back to the action here. Like I said, 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. I'm seeing on the whiteboard, I'm seeing a jammer star up there. I think we got a power jam here, Clifton. I would agree with that assessment. So let's hear it from the Schoolyard Scrappers fans in attendance for the Scrappers. Second power jam of the bout. Bonnie Banshee up to the jammer line, a full pack otherwise, four blockers for each team. Cherry Kiss trying to pin Bonnie Banshee up against the rail. Bonbon bon drops down low, gets knocked to the infield by Lightning the Queen. Bonbon bon trying the high side now once again, trying to get by Hurricane May and gets out. Bonnie bon bon Banshee gets out on this power jam. Slow pack stalled out in turn two. Bonnie Banshee up on the high rail. <laughs> Follows Al and Isle Hacha, gets knocked to the infield. And that's that for that power jam. Ran out of gas. So Bonbon bon calls it off. Four points up on the board for the Scrappers there. Bonbon bon weighing the, the effort of having to finagle another scoring pass out of just, you know, living to see another day. <laughs> so 71-62 Scrappers now with those four points up on the board. That is Slaughter Mellon at the jammer line. Dolly Spartan back out there on the jammer line for the Scrappers. Slow pack, slow jammers. Slaughter Mellon charges. Gets to the front of the pack behind Antifa and Morning Madness, knocked to the infield. Now there goes Dolly Spartan with a full head of steam. Scary Nieger was hot in pursuit and just ran out of room and had to let Dolly go. So Slaughtermelon now still trying to get out. Slaughtermelon ground up into the rail there. Saw Morning Madness again with that strong defense and now Mads is going to link up with Smalls at the front of the pack. Dolly Spartan is trying to affect a scoring pass. Scrappers blockers are trying to clear the way. And Dolly calls it off mid-pack. We will check on the pointage there. Antifa out there really trying hard to clear the way for their jammer. Antifa knocking Allen Isle H into the infield at one point in time. Schoolyard Scrappers are going to put three points on the board there, but also on the board is an arms penalty on Slaughter Mellon. It's another power jam for the Schoolyard Scrappers. It is Juicy Kill Tour all alone at the jammer line. Looks like we also have a Scrappers blocker in the box. Runaway Brides are skating four blockers right there, so that makes it real hard to skate a power jam behind a power off power defense. They were trying to get Lightning. The Queen pinned it back, but she spun around those Scrappers blockers. Juicy gets back out on the track, takes a breath, sizes up the situation. Still 30 seconds left on this jam clock. Now Juicy is up behind Cherry and tried to kind of plow through on the rail trying to at least affect one scoring attempt out of this. Now waiting for those blockers at the back of the pack. Juicy is chatting with the crowd in the front straightaway. So apparently getting out of the pack is not at the top of her priorities at the moment. Yeah, I believe this is just gonna be a standoff here. Yep, that's that is, that's roller derby. You're so close to the action, you can literally chat with the players. So, 
excellent defensive effort on the power jam by the runaway Brides. Brides allowing, didn't even allow Juicy Kill Tour to get out, let alone score any points. We do hear a clap down there from the Brides contingent. They're gonna send, uh, there's two Brides blockers headed down now. So that's the penalty of playing stout defense on a power jam. Tornado Alley is your jammer for the Brides. That's Bonnie Banshee back out there for the Scrappers. And I believe that's gonna be a team challenge. So let's check this out. I did not see the flag. Nope, just a timeout. That's why I didn't see a flag. It's because there wasn't one. Like I said, that's why the regulators get to shout the things that they do. So team timeout, the Brides are gonna talk this one over. After that stalwart defensive effort, Small Pat going to be out there when we get back to the action. That's right, Derby fans. Don't forget our regulators here are always looking for new skaters to join their team. Our coaches... Wrong. Are you interested in being a part of the roller derby community? Our regulators are always looking for dedicated and eager minds to learn our rule set and help keep our skaters on the track safe. The regulator team is an open gender team, and there are always various levels of officiating that going, go on during a roller derby bout. Come be a part of the action, help our league grow. Ask any skater or any ref how to get involved. Looks like we're just about ready to get back to the action. Indeed, we are. So, game reset. 6.21 to go in the third quarter. Schoolyard Scrappers in front by a dozen right now. Your jammer for the Runaway Brides, the ever-popular Scary Nieger. Bonnie Banshee out there for the Schoolyard Scrappers. We got a running start on this jam. Jaeger takes a big tumble there, going down the front straightaway. A schoolyard scrappers, Dolly Spartan with the all-out block. But now Jaeger is going to try to battle to the front again. Meanwhile, Bonnie. on the inside comes Bonbon. Bonbon bon bon slowed up by Al Annihilation out of the inside. Al still up to the task, and Al stays on the track and completes the block. Look at that. Now the pack winds their way into the back straightaway, and the action kind of slows down. Now Bonbon, bon. there, Bonbon bon ducks to the inside, was able to get those blockers just over the 20 foot line. Still 18 seconds to go in the jam. So Bonnie Banshees now is gonna try to effort a scoring pass while the Brides jammer is in back trying to play jammer defense. Scrapper starting to make some move, trying to get some extra points for their jammer. All right, that'll do it for the jam. We'll check on the score there. Another four points for the schoolyard scrappers. However, I see only one jammer out there at the moment. I'm checking on that whiteboard here momentarily. It looks like a cut penalty. All right, well, we did pick up a cut track penalty on the schoolyard scrappers jammer. It's gonna be a power jam for the runaway brides. It's Hurricane May. To the jammer line. Scrappers don't have any challenges left, so here we go. Yeah, indeed. That was, as we have mentioned, an early usage of the challenge. Now Hurricane May already out and clear for the brides. The schoolyard scrappers are going to try to press the pace of play. Scrappers able to stay together at the front of the pack. Brides are going to try to play the accordion. Here comes Hurricane May with a full head of steam. Scrappers are still trying to stay together and bleed time off the clock. Now May to the inside, weaves around. May with some fancy footwork as she is known for. Manages to zigzag around Pretty Hurt Machine to finish the scoring pass. Now up to the same task and May able to get up around the outside and finish a second scoring pass. There's still 12 seconds left on the jam clock. Scrappers now are trying to get together at the front. They've knocked one of the Brides blockers off to the infield. They're trying to get Juicy Kill Tour off the track and they try to keep that last skater in front of her. We'll check on the score from the deep corner over there. It's a 14 point power jam for the runaway Brides. 
14 big points on the board, and just like that, the lead is down to two for the schoolyard scrappers. It's Tornado Alley on the jammer line for the Brides. Dolly Spartan back out there for your schoolyard scrappers. Tightly bunch pack this time. Alley is down to the inside and trying to get around those two schoolyard scrappers blockers. Now goes to the high side. And they have to let her on by. Aunt Tifa had to let Allie through. Allie's your lead jammer for the Runaway Brides. Dolly now looking for an opening. Gets routed off to the infield. Tornado Alley is at the front of the pack and they're tr they get her blocked off to the infield as well. Dolly now is gonna try to find an opening. Lightning the Queen makes that challenging. Tornado Alley trying to get by, but gets blocked off to the infield. Now those blockers out of play and they let Alley on through. Dolly Spartan gets out as well. And they, Alley calls off the jam. We're gonna have a timeout and I'm checking on what kind of timeout that is. It's an official timeout. But then I get to say the Runaway Brides put five points on the board. Brides back in front, 81-78 at the moment with 2.13 to go until the end of the third quarter. Do it as soon as we can. I think he's taking pictures. I'm not sure. You know, if you have a souvenir cup, you know, you're welcome to get that refilled at any time. If that was a last chance to do that, that would be now. Maybe, you know, if you would, a last call, if you would, for a souvenir. Kevin Hachi, Kevin Hachi, go get some more souvenir cup. You're not listening. All right, back to the action we go. This is a very sparse pack, and not only is it a sparse pack, it is a power jam for dun, the dun, schoolyard dun. scrappers with a severe pack advantage. The brides are out there with two blockers. Cherry Kiss, Al annihilate ya. Al now trying to play defense, but Al's out of play. Nikki gets on by. 45 seconds left in the Scrapper's Power Jam. Now Cherry Kiss is trying to hop through the defense and reunite with Al at the front of the pack. Al manages to block Dolly. Nikki to the high side just tries to kind of step by Cherry and Cherry manages to get Nikki off onto the infield. 26 seconds left in the Scrapper's Power Jam. Nikki now facing those two brides blockers. Now gets some help. That was one heck of a block coming through there to clear an opening. That was Juicy Kill Tour. Juicy Kill Tour with the road grader block. Now Nikki's got nine seconds left, checks the clock, and is going to try to get around if she can. But those Four, bride skaters are going to try to play keep away. Two. Big block there. And that's going to do it. Clock's going to expire. Well, as two walls go, that was a pretty outstanding effort by two defenders on a power jam, holding Nikki Badass to five points.
Schoolyard Scrappers are going to call a team timeout here. Scrappers have bounced back in front, though, 83-81. So now we got 101 to go until the end of the third quarter. So as this team timeout continues, we want to let you know about one of our longtime sponsors, Lost Dutchman Tattoo. Tattoo shop specializing in various styles from realism to traditional. You can also customize your own tattoo. Walk-ins are always accepted. They're located at 4121 North 19th Avenue. That's the east side of 19th Avenue, just north of Indian School Road. Also another sponsor of ours, Copper Star Coffee, a locally owned coffee shop and cafe providing hand blended drinks and award-winning baked goods visit them in the melrose district for delicious coffee tea homemade boiled and baked bagels come on down bill do you like your own facebook posts too i i do yes <laughs> visit All my right. twitter page for sarcasm back to the action we go Here that's hurricane may for the brides dolly spartan out there wearing the Blue star for the Scrappers. Dolly Spartan going up against Allen Islehache at the front of the pack in turn two. Dolly trying to get by on the rail, looking for some help. It hasn't happened yet, though. Hurricane May knocked off the track at the back of the pack. So Dolly's still trying to overcome. Now, now Al's going to get some assistance for Lightning. Now Peak is going to get up there and try to spring it. Dolly bumped off to the infield. 25 seconds left in the jam. We've got a star off for the Brides, but I don't know about a pass yet. Nope, not yet. 11 seconds left on the jam clock, which is going to leave time for one more jam if this is going to go 60 seconds. This is the most of these no jammer getting out oh, I know. jams I've seen in a while. All right, so that jam ends with one second on the quarter clock. We get one more jam in. Still 83-81, and yeah, I was going to say just an outstanding number of non-scoring jams, yeah. and yet it's still been a pretty well, you know, average scoring game. Right. Pretty uh, hurt machine out there for the scrappers. Cherry kiss for the runaway brides here in our definitely last jam of the third quarter, no questions asked. There we go. And the quarter clock has expired. Cherry Kiss fighting to the front, and Cherry Kiss finds an opening first. Cherry Kiss is your lead jammer for the Runaway Brides. Here goes Pretty Hurt Machine, and Pretty Hurt Machine kind of has to slalom around Nikki Badass to get clear. Hurt's going to try to keep this to one scoring attempt. Now zigzagging through up to the high side goes Cherry, trying to get around and find a way around that wall and calls it off. Nikki Badass had that shoulder cocked and loaded like a crossbow and <laughs> cherry kiss called it off rather than try to test that shoulder yeah. i've never seen anybody just haul off and just get ready to unload a ready shoulder before wowzers all right so with all that the runaway brides put three points on the board runaway brides spring in front 84 83 as we step aside for the last quarter break of the championship bout if it was any closer it'd be tied we'll be right back to the action
Hey fans, we've got about 90 seconds left in the quarter break. I've been shouting out various groups of people this evening. I would like the fans to thank the fans. Let's hear it for the fans because without the fans, it would be really hard to put on this show for you all. We have hey come back to a full season this season, and without the support of our fans, it literally would not have been possible. This would have just been a warehouse with boxes in it by now. Me getting back to the action here momentarily. Just um, adjustments going on here during the quarter break. So stick with us, even though the quarter break, quarter break clock has expired. And just relayed to us by game executioner Freya Hugs. And until Freya Hugs blows her whistle, it's not game time. So we'll have just a moment. Usually about now is when we tout the next bout. Hey, fans, next bout. Yeah, you know what? It'll be September. Hey, look at that. <laughs> so same, same time, same channel. Just we're going to take an extended four-month break. It gets warm in the warehouse yeah, yeah, in the yeah. summer. Yeah, we'll let the, we'll let the hot months go by. That's right. All right. It would appear that we are no. Let's wait. There we go. We are ready, 15 minutes for the entire bag of marbles. 84-83, Runaway Brides in front as we get ready for the fourth quarter. Scaring Jaeger to the jammer line. Dolly Spartan out there for the scrappers. Dolly Spartan tries the high side, gets out to the front of the pack. Scaring Jaeger goes low. There's Antifa right there pushing up against the rail. Dolly now trying to get by, but gets pinned to the rail by Al Annihilatia. Now trying to get an escort through along the inside, gets in behind Nova Kane, is trying to outrun Nova to the front and does. Dolly Spartan out is gonna try to keep this to one scoring pass for scaring Jaeger. Jaeger threads their way through the pack and calls it off. Four points for the Runaway Brides. Runaway Brides are going to send Hurricane May to the jammer line. A pretty hurt machine out there for the scrappers right now. No doubt jammers discussing strategy. Nobody in the penalty box. Full pack. Hurt tried to go right down the middle. Now gets pinned securely to the rail. That was, oh, now look oh. at that. Hurt to the inside. Just kind of snuck by. Everybody was sort of paying attention to the action at the top of the track. Pretty Hurt Machine gets out for the Scrappers. So Hurricane May trying to fight through now. And oh, big block at the front of the pack. Hurricane May gets out as well for the Brides. Try to keep this to the one scoring pass for Hurt Machine. Pretty Hurt Machine off to the inside. Gets back up and calls it off. Antifa coming to the line for the schoolyard scrappers right now. It's Tornado Alley getting ready to jam for the Runaway Brides. That was a three-point partial scoring pass for the scrappers. Runaway Brides in front by two at the moment. Antifa able to dodge a block. Now gets around Nova Kane and Antifa is your lead jammer. Was just about to say that uh, Tifa got down along the inside and kind of stepped around a block or the, and it went up on the infield. Tornado Alley out as well for the Runaway Brides. Tifa now at the back of the pack gets by one blocker up to the front, runs up into the wall, 
calls it off, but here came Tornado Alley at the back end as well. Back Alley into able the to pack. pick up some points right there. Yeah, absolutely. We are going to have a timeout. It's an official timeout, which one would expect at the end there. Checking on the score here is being discussed to my right, so I don't want to speak too loudly. Ref Boy RD and Racy Tracy up here. Are, uh, that's why the official timeout was called. Gotcha. Okay, that's why I'm talking like a golf announcer. Hello, Jim Nance here from Augusta, Georgia. Okay, now we are able to talk at full volume again. So the final scoring on that jam was three for the Runaway Brides and four for the Scrappers. So a net gain of one point for the Scrappers if you've done your algebra tonight. So it's 91-90. Brides in front by one point. Allie proving once again persistence pays off. Yep, absolutely. It's why you run out grounders. It's, you know, why you finish your block, and it's why you never give up the pursuit because you never know what's going to happen. Finish when the lead the jammer gets bumped off to the infield, and there we go. Nobody right. in the penalty box. Jamming for the brides is Cherry Kiss. Nikki Badass coming back to the line for the schoolyard scrappers. Cherry Kiss and Nikki up to the pack. Tightly bunched pack. As we mentioned, it's a full pack. So now Cherry is trying to find a way and is now on the oh. inside. Cherry Kiss gets out. Cherry Kiss lead jammer for the Runaway Brides. Nikki Badaz trying to just get through a hole in the wall there and ends up getting down. Oh, trying to get around another skater who's just trying to get out of the way. Slaughter Melon down on the ground, I believe. Nikki's out as well. Cherry gets shoved off to the infield. Is going to get up and reestablish and then call it off. Three points for the Brides. 94-90. Brides in front with 11.45 to go in regulation. Scary Nieger once again for the Runaway Brides. Coming to the jammer line for the first time tonight. That's Captain Pikachu. Peek taking to the jammer line for the first time tonight. Peek trying the high side, pushing up against Tornado Alley, coming around the top with Nova Kane. Jaeger now up to the front and kind of seemed to catch the pivot by surprise. Gets around Dolly now. Here comes Pikachu. Pikachu's on the chase. Scary Jaeger's going to put the hammer down and try to get back to the pack. Jaeger is so far not going to call it off. Trying to catch up to this wall of schoolyard scrappers blockers. Jaeger trying to stick a hip or two in front. Jaeger gets two points. Jaeger managing to get in front of two skaters before calling it off. We're going to have another stoppage in play. What do we have here? It's another official timeout. As, as tight and close game action tends to do, the regulators need another moment to discuss this one. So 10.48 to go in regulation. The Runaway Brides right now in front by 6, 96.90. We'd like to let you know about one of our other longtime league sponsors, Siphon Draw Apothecary Shop. S Siphon Draw Apothecary is an all natural, non toxic, handcrafted skincare product line made by our very own Dolly De Los Muertos, who's in the middle of a discussion on the infield right now and surely not listening to me. We want to shout out that sponsor for providing us with hand sanitizer for the entire season last year, keeping us all nice and secure and sanitized and and safe and open. So uh, keeping us safe with clean hands. Anyhow, SiphonDraw.com for their full product line, or you can visit them at the historic Goldfield Ghost Town off of Highway 88. All right, discussion has come to a close amongst the regulators on the infield. 10 minutes, 48 seconds left in this bout. 
we'll know who the champion is in about 11 or 12 minutes. All right, up to the jammer line for the brides is Hurricane May. Pretty Hurt Machine back out there for the scrappers. And Hurt dodges a block. That was Cryptic Cali trying to knock Hurt to the infield and Hurt's up to the high side, trying to stick uh -oh. to the inside, but gets routed off to the infield. Now here comes Hurricane May with a whole head of steam. May to the front, May tried to get around and manages to get past the last blocker. Hurt's pinned at the back of the pack behind a four wall of Bride's blockers. Hurricane May tries to find an opening and now Hurt dashes to the inside. Tries to, will try to keep this to just the one scoring attempt for Hurricane May. May's trying to find an opening, trying to get by and manages to jump over a block from Nikki Badass and calls it off. Dolly Spartan coming out to the line for the schoolyard scrappers. And it's gonna be Tornado Alley for the runaway brides. I see two brides blockers in the penalty box. That's Cali and Lightning, two of their better defenders and blockers, leaving them at a very sharp pack disadvantage. And there goes Dolly Spartan out first. Tornado Alley's gonna get right out behind. So now Dolly Spartan is gonna try to get back to the pack. Those two blockers for the brides are gonna try to play keep away here. And Dolly's gonna call it off. Dolly caught her skate or something in the turn there. And that slowed her down. That allowed the Tornado Alley a chance to catch up. Schoolyard scrappers are gonna call a team timeout to talk this over. That was a five point jam for the Runaway Brides. So 101.90, the Brides have built up a little lead here with just under nine minutes to go in regulation. Looks like we're just about ready to get back to the action. Checking in with everybody, discussion continuing amongst the regulators on the infield. Okay, time to get back to the action. I see Nikki Badass coming to the line for the Scrappers. Cherry Kiss once again for the Runaway Brides. Cherry had lined up before that timeout. Nikki sees some daylight on the high side. Lightning tries to close the door. Nikki gets by Cryptic Cali. Cherry Kiss hung up at the back of the pack behind Beverly kills and pretty hurt machine. Now Cherry's gonna try to play some jammer defense at the back of the pack and now tries to, now takes off herself. Try to keep this to one scoring pass for Nikki Badass. Nikki checking around and waiting for some help from her blockers. Now it's gonna go around the high side. Gets up behind those last two blockers and calls it off. Checking on the score, Schoolyard Scrappers, four points up. Schoolyard Scrappers cut that lead once again to single digits, 101-94, Brides in front. Brides are going to send Scary Nieger to the jammer line. Dolly Spartan to the jammer line for the Scrappers. Scrappers are gonna be sitting two blockers during this jam.
late penalty coming in. I heard a UC wow. sporting contact. So ouch on Al. Yeah. So there we go. One blocker down for the Brides. Cuts into their pack advantage. Jaeger tries to go up and follow Dolly. Now Jaeger around the outside. Antifa is going to try to get in the way, and Jaeger's your lead jammer for the Runaway Brides. Dolly now gets in behind of Killin May Smalls. Now Jaeger to the middle of the track, and Jaeger gets right through on a scoring pass. Dolly gets out as well now to try to put the pressure on. Jaeger is tr catching up to the pack. They're keeping those two scrappers not only separated, but unable to link together on the blocking. Scary Jaeger finishes a second scoring pass. Brides put nine points on the board. Brides are out in front, 110 to 94 once again. Up to the jammer line for the runaway Brides as Ash smash them. Pretty hurt machine out there for the scrappers. Brides are sitting two blockers on this jam. The Brides quickly switch staff and now here comes Cryptic Cali again. And now they're saying no. Down goes Cryptic Cali. The jam hasn't even started. There we go. Hurt tries to go right up and is dealing with that pivot and Hurt gets bumped off to the inside. Has to come back and reestablish. Now has to get up and try to fight through that defense once again. This time that blocker is out of play. Pretty Hurt Machine is your lead jammer for the Scrappers. Two Scrappers defenders are trying to keep Ash Smash and pinned in, Ash to the ground. Here comes Hurt, Hurt takes a tumble at the back of the pack. Ash is out the front of the pack as well. Try to keep this to one scoring pass for Pretty Hurt Machine. And Hurt calls it off. Two blockers were out in front. I heard a jammer penalty. I heard a jammer penalty. Who was it on? We're going to have a timeout, so we'll find out in a bit. I definitely heard somebody say that's your jammer, so we will see if that is true or not. We've got a challenge from the Runaway Brides. So if you draw the straightest line between two points, I'm going to say that the jammer penalty was on Ash Smasham, and that is what the Brides are challenging. So we've got a challenge with 5.40 to go and a possible power jam for the schoolyard scrappers looming. We've had two unsuccessful challenges so far. and This would be a pivotal challenge reversal. We'll get back to that in a moment. Meanwhile, you see those tickets coming on around for the cash raffle. The 50-50 cash raffle was up in the 250s, Ooh, I believe. I didn't Last hear I that. Heard, yeah. Nice. I believe. So, yeah, that's as always, that's half to the winner and half to the minor assaults. Major fundraiser for the minor assaults. Is that benefits two people. Absolutely. So the challenge is going to get started. We wanted to give a shout-out during this challenge to AZRD, one of our longtime sponsors of our league, is another league here in town, AZRD Arizona Roller Derby. They are a longtime flat track roller derby league here in Phoenix, and they're also getting their skates back under them and getting back up to full speed. So they, I believe, at least a few of their skaters are watching tonight. We wanted to say hello, and I wanted to say hello. I've announced with Ravel in a few times, and I would love to announce another one of your tournaments or bouts or what have you. So... AZRD, thank you so much. AZRD celebrating their 20th anniversary this year. So a great year at which to get back to the skating. All right, challenge has wrapped up. Rather momentous challenge here with 5.40 to go in the regulation. What do we have? Above shoulder on the white jammer is 
All right. It was an above shoulders block on Ash Smasham, and the challenge is unsuccessful. So we're going to have a power jam for the schoolyard scrappers as we get back to the action. Scrappers down 13 points at the moment, so a power jam, rather useful. Wait just here a moment as we get ready to rejoin the action. Also, I... Uh, All right, back to the action we go once again as we teased before the whistle. Power jam for the schoolyard scrappers and it's Dolly Spartan at the jammer line. Seeing blockers trying to recycle to the front and then schoolyard scrappers blockers following them. Bride's already burned off 20 seconds of this jam. Dolly routed off to the infield again by the Brides defense. Dolly trying to push him out of play. Now everybody takes a tumble. Dolly back up, still trying to push those blockers out of play. Novocaine at the back of the pack is driving forward and trying to keep the blockers in play. Now they've got to let Dolly go. Dolly is trying to get around the track as quickly as possible with four seconds left on the jam clock, trying to catch up here and get at least the two points at the back of the pack and is probably just gonna get that. Excellent defensive stand by the Runaway Brides once again on the power jam. It looks like we're trading power jams here. We are indeed trading power jams. It's now gonna be a power jam for the runaway brides. So now the pendulum swings back the other way. Brides are in front by 11 and now gonna try to build on that lead with 410 to go in regulation and scaring Jaeger at the jammer line. Big collision early, Jaeger up to the outside. Schoolyard scrappers are trying to keep that defensive wall Dirty. However, also entering into play is the fact that the runaway brides really want to burn a whole minute off the clock. They've got to let Jaeger go with 37 seconds left on the power jam. Scary Jaeger in no great hurry as right now, 60 seconds off the clock is more important than a whole lot of points in the, in the outcome of this game. Jaeger stepping around some down skaters. Now up to the front once again, it's gonna get pushed up to the rail. And again, Jaeger really not fighting to get through here. So you can tell the brides are just trying to burn time off the clock. Five seconds left on the jam clock. Jaeger still trying to zigzag through and pick up those last couple of points. Stick a hip in front of Peak just in case they hadn't yet. Brides do put five points on the board. Runaway Brides in front by 16 at the moment. Did I say trading power jams? You did say trading power jams. We do, we have another power jam for the schoolyard scrappers. Another power jam with 243 and counting and regulation and it's going to be Juicy Kill Tour Juicy out there. Juicy Kill Tour. Juicy weaving their way through the pack and everything, getting to the front of the pack against Allen Isle hate you. Allen Isle hate you, has her at the rail, but got to let her out. They've got Novocaine pinned in at the back of the pack, it would appear. Juicy now tries to get by, and Juicy zigzags by Hurricane May, trying to throw a sliding block. 33 seconds left on the power jam. 2.11 to go in regulation. Juicy kill tour for her second scoring pass. The schoolyard scrappers spring into action and they try to get those blockers pushed out of play. Juicy fighting through, now gets some help. Nikki Badaz clearing an opening. Juicy trying to get through. The blockers are staying in play. There's eight seconds left in the power jam. And Juicy's gonna call it off. 
Juicy got all five points on that second scoring pass, though. It's a 10-point power jam for the schoolyard scrappers. We've got 90 seconds left in regulation, and the runaway brides are in front by six points. Your jammer for the brides is Cherry Kiss. Antifa coming out to the line to jam for the scrappers. Cherry Kiss coming right out of the penalty box and right into the jammer line. Nobody has any timeouts left. Nobody has any challenges. Brides have three people in the box right now. Scrappers are full strength with that whistle. Here comes Antifa charging out to the front of the pack. Gets taken up to the rail by Allen I'll hate ya. And out of play, you gotta let him go. Antifa's out and clear for the schoolyard scrappers. One minute to go in regulation. Antifa now approaching on her first scoring pass. Cherry kisses at the back of the pack, playing jammer defense. Antifa finishes off. It's a five-point scoring pass for Antifa. Now catching up, trying to get some more points on the board. Cherry Kiss trying to get free. Antifa to the high side, ground into the rail. Now ducks to the inside and bumped off to the inside by one of the defenders. That was Al Annihilatia. Skarin Jaeger now trying to provide some defense and runs Antifa off to the infield one more time. Cherry Kiss now trying to get clear with 12 seconds left on the jam clock. Antifa calls it off. We'll check the score. There's time for one more jam. Antifa puts 10 points on the board and the schoolyard scrappers jump in front. 119, 115. The regulation clock is going to expire before this jam starts. This is the last jam of regulation. Hurricane May on the jammer line for the runaway brides. Scrappers sending their captain Pikachu out there to skate this last jam. Four point difference. Each team down one blocker. There we go, we're underway. Hurricane May up to the pack, peak to the outside. Hurricane May is trying to find an opening. Tightly bunched pack as they head down into the back straightaway. Peak takes a tumble. Now Hurricane May is up behind those schoolyard scrappers blockers. Peak is gonna look for an opening. Peak is now trying to get through the pack. Peak now still up on the track. Hurricane May that star, trying to star pass. Gets out of the pack though. 30 seconds left on this jam. So Hurricane May is out of the pack and is lead jammer here for the runaway brides. Scrappers Pe Pikachu is gonna settle in at the back of the pack and play jammer defense and Hurricane May takes a tumble. The quarter clock has expired. Hurricane May zigzags along the inside and Hurricane May is out and clear. Six seconds left on the jam clock. And the final whistle. So now we wait for the score and we wait to see if there are any penalty jam. So the runaway brides have put five points on the board and we're still checking to see if there will be any bonus time action or if we have reached the end of the championship bout. I'm seeing markers on that whiteboard for both teams. All right, stepping out to trackside to blow the final whistle. That's gonna do it. With five points in their final jam of the season, the Runaway Brides are four-time league champions. The Runaway Brides once again have made their statement that the road to title town in this arena goes through the state of Runaway Brides. And now let's hear it for the schoolyard scrappers making their way around as well.
you could hardly ask for a more exciting end to a roller derby bout and a championship bout than that right there. Several lead changes in the last several seconds. And I believe everybody got their tickets worth this evening. And we'll settle in for a presentation here, I am sure. Derby fans, if you got a blue 50-50 raffle ticket, get those blue 50-50 raffle tickets out. Blue 50-50 raffle ticket, 591-148. 591148. Make some noise if you won. Hey, we got a winner over there. All right, Derby fans. Well, that's going to put that's going to put the finishing touches on our season, the 2022-2023 season. It has been a pleasure to call the action for you for most of the bouts, even bouts I wasn't even supposed to be here for. Somehow I still end up with a microphone right? in my hand. In a way. Yeah, I know. I wasn't even supposed to be here tonight. <laughs> At any rate, uh, I, as always, am Clefton P. Grudge. And I'm Kills Bill. So let's start this all over.